Thanks. Uh, thanks for chatting with us today. Um, I was just wondering if you could start off with kind of how the team is looking coming off. You guys had an extended break with the seven day CBA and then an off week um, kind of looking towards the weekend. Yeah, I think a lot of people are just excited to be back. Um, all good vibes. I think that the break was good mentally and physically. And I think people came back ready to go. I mean, we know that the first half of the season is done and now it's time to look towards the second half. And it was a really great refresher. And I think we came out flying and just honestly really happy to be back on the ball, back on back in the field. So um, the team's looking really good, sharp, and we're super excited to get back out there tomorrow. And then what kind of challenges do you guys think that San Diego are going to present to you tomorrow? Yeah, I think the most obvious one is obviously their aerial presence. I think that that has been a key factor for them and something that every team around the league now knows, um, something that they look for, that they're very dominant in. So, you know, I think that we have our own our own group of players and people that can challenge aerially as well. So I think that's going to be a battle. And, you know, they they like to play football as well. So they have a great coach, likes to get the ball down and play and then get in behind the line whenever they can. So um, it's going to be a good game tomorrow. And I feel like we always rise to the challenge to play them. Thank you. Thanks, Taylor. And then next we have Jada. Thanks. Uh, thanks for taking the time. Wanted to ask, uh, as far as the second half goes, what do you think is going to be most important for you guys to uh, focus on um, as you come to the close of the season? Yeah, I think it's going to be interesting just because obviously right now we don't have the World Cup players. And then, so right now it's this group. And then World Cup players are going to be trickling back uh, towards the end of the season. So it's kind of just going to be, you know, how can we get everyone back in, mesh together again, and play the style of play that we like to present on the field, which I think is a beautiful style. Um, so I think that's gonna kind of be something that we're gonna keep an eye on. And I know the coaching staff is gonna mo monitor really closely and obviously the health and the mindset of the players coming back from the World Cup. But I think the group that we have right now, we know that we wanna do our very best for while the players are in the World Cup while they're gone. So we want to hold up our end of the deal. And um, I think that that's going to be the most interesting part for numerous teams across the league is how can we, how do you get the players back in and um, just hit the floor running. And if I could follow up since you did mention the World Cup, I mean, have you, when you took the break, was it a complete break that watched the games <laughs> or have you been watching? And, and what are your um, thoughts of, of it so far? And, and maybe some of the players that have been able to get on. Yeah, no, I think football is just engraved in me and it's a part of my life, whether I'm on the field training or if I'm at home watching games. Um, I spent I definitely spent time with family and um, but I got my fair amount of touches on the ball. You know, I this is my job and this is something I love and um, wanted to stay sharp for sure. And yeah, I think the World Cup has been it's been a lot so far. I, I think it's kind of exciting to see the coverage that women's soccer is getting and deserves um so our team we had a great watch party yesterday and um, supporting all of our players on all the different countries so i think it's been exciting and it just goes to show that you know anyone can show up on any day so much like the nwsl like as you guys have seen it's you can really never predict anything so i think that it's been exciting and a we're for sure gonna keep track with all of our players um, in the World Cup and all the crazy games that are gonna come. Thanks, Jada. And then Steven, go ahead. Riley, I wanted to ask, you guys are, um, you know, the next two games are Challenge Cup and if, if you win one of the two, you're gonna be going into the semifinals again. Um, so I wanted to ask, you know, last year you made the semifinals of Challenge Cup, you guys won the, the Women's Cup. Like, can you talk a little bit about kind of the mentality of the team going into all these these additional competitions and, and having the depth to be able to compete in all of these. Yeah, I think that we're aware of the current situation with Challenge Cup games and whether it's like you mentioned Women's Cup last year, Challenge Cup games this year or league, um, we keep the level the exact same. And this, like I said, this is our job. We want to come out and perform and prove why we deserve to be in this league on the field. 
So I, I know that this, we could clinch tomorrow. Um, but like I said, we treat every game the same. And um, while the World Cup players are gone, we want to make sure that we are taking care of our business here. So when they come back, we're ready to keep going with them. Um, but yeah, the team's really excited. And I think our team kind of gets a little antsy when we just been training, training, you know, back from our break. So um, we're very excited to finally put it, put, put a show on tomorrow and be back on the field. Thank you. Thanks, Steven. And then Taylor? Yeah, um, I was wondering, first of all, kind of what are your goals personally on the season and kind of how would you rate how you've been doing on them? Yeah, I think that now this is my second year in the league, second year on this team, and I have a good understanding of the kind of style that is expected from me and that this team likes to put on. And, you know, I think that this is a great learning environment for me, whether that's from the coaching staff or the players that I'm surrounded by every day. I am very passionate about this job, my love for the sport, and I know that any opportunity I get is an opportunity to prove and show everything I've been working on. And I am a very driven individual, and I know that there are speed bumps, there's ups and downs in seasons and careers, and every day I just try to come out and continually show and prove to myself, first and foremost, and to this club why I am passionate to be here and play my role, whatever that role is. Um, I wanna make sure that I am helping my team and my teammates that I'm surrounded by. So whatever that role is, um, I take it very serious. And you know, I think that so far, so far so good, but there's a lot of football to be played. So I'm excited for that. And then one last one for me. Um, you guys played San Diego a little over a month ago, right? A month and a couple of days. Um, and in general, they've kind of been going through a bit of a rough patch. Does that kind of change your mentality going into the game at all? No, not really. I mean, they, they have a couple of players away as well. But I mean, like I said, for World Cup games, games in the NWSL, anyone, there, you can never predict anything. And this league is just top to bottom is pure class and I know that that's also the case for San Diego regardless of what the scoreline shows so um, we know that they're going to come out with an absolute fight against us it's hard to come in uh, to Lumen and um, we're coming off our break and you know we we've been prepping so it doesn't it doesn't change our mindset or anything we know that they're going to give us their best fight and um I think we're going to be up for it. So, no, we know that they're a quality opponent. So, we're, I think we're ready. Thank you. Thanks, Taylor. We'll take one more from Jada. Thanks. Um, I wanted to ask how much, if at all, was the Orlando game and that loss uh, discussed when y'all uh, reconvened? Yeah, you know, I think that there's, whether it's a win or a loss, you're going to get, you can take things away. And I think that that's what we did. We were able to address some of the things that, we want to improve on and I think that's from an individual standpoint and as a team collective and that's exactly what we did and we um, we're watching things we're learning things we're applying it out on the field so whether it's a win or loss I mean we're gonna learn every time and I think that's what we've done so I think we're excited to kind of portray that um, and get back to our great quality on the field. All right. Thanks, Jada. Thanks, everyone. That's it for questions. Thanks, Marley. Thank you.